I hear it's going to rain today on my favorite day, the Netherland Inn Sail Day. It is a local historical site here in Kingsport, Tennessee. They're having their annual fundraiser. It is outdoors under a pavilion and it's supposed to rain. Maybe it'll hold off, maybe, but we're going anyway. Simple sales for good profit. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to our channel. We're heading to the Netherland Inn in Kingsport, Tennessee. We're going to take you along the back roads, the back views, the historical sites, and all the pretty views that we see all the time when we're driving around here in Kingsport. So if you like that kind of thing, keep watching. two years ago they didn't have it last year that's the inn right there and then up the hill behind it they have a pavilion oh yeah there's some old buildings here some old log buildings I don't think they're going to be playing music outside today oops somebody's coming out as we're going in some of the buildings and the pavilion is over there. Yeah, let's get as close as we can. Sorry about the rain on the windshield, but you know, that's the way it is. So it is open for business and yeah, the rain is off and on here. But we're going to go check it out, see what we can find. A lot of Christmas stuff here, but I saw this little strainer. It looks older. It's cute. You know, suffer from acute syndrome, so... It <clears throat> says Japan. You want to turn it over for me, please? I think it's really pretty. It's probably not going to be too much. It's not real big, but it's a possibility. What have we here? This looks really old. It's pressed glass. It's not cut. You can't feel any cuts in it. So the bases aren't really selling that well for me. can't read it. Pink. Pink something. It's probably the Red Hat. Red, oh, Red Hat Society? Red Hat Society because this is a set right what here. Are, these are pretty. They are pretty. Do you know any idea about who makes these? I have no idea. They're not cut. They're pressed. But, yeah, they're pressed glass. Yeah. But it's still pretty. Boy, you got a lot of them. You must have had them for a party or something. <laughs> Whoever donated does. Yeah. Find the unusual. Look at this little flapper doll. She's got sleepy eyes. Cool jewelry though. Looks like somebody made her. Got her shoes. Yeah, I might pick her up. The clown I'll leave behind. <laughs> this is interesting. It's stainless steel. You can see me in a Kinox. Kinox? There you go. Shut that out. Two years ago, I bought all the jewelry. It was just costume. <laughs> costume jewelry. Well, they do that flea market, they think. Don't you it? Uh huh. Yeah. A lot of Christmas. I don't see anything really different. Mark's over here checking out dishes. Oh, that's old. That's. I think that might be a spooner. It's just pressed glass. Yeah. But I like it. Can you put that in? Is it, if it has no chips, just put it in my basket here. 
Okay, Her Majesty the Queen and Her Majesty Queen Mary find England. Plastic stuff. And some old bowls. Old English chintz, Johnson Brothers, England. Look at the crazing on that. These are old, unchipped. It's chipped. Always chips. Kind of looks like something I saw at Goodwill recently. Okay, Mark, what do you have here? Well, I've got a bar glass. A bar glass? It yeah, doesn't look like a bar glass. Well, it's actually a vintage oh, no. specimen bottle. Oh, and you're touching that? Oh, I'm, we're I'm, touching I'm, that? I'm sure it's been... <laughs> it's been washed. <laughs> but uh, they're, they're using these they're using these as uh, barware. Barware. Okay. Yeah. Any idea what it, how much they want? Uh, I, I don't know what they want for it, but they're, they're going for mm. the 20 range. All right. Maybe a dollar, huh? Okay. Hopefully. These are ashtrays with a metal, fancy metal filigree frame. This is very odd. That's an ashtray, too. Never seen anything like it. Got some plates here. Ivory color. And it says, I don't know if you can see it, Wedgwood Wellesley. They might have some potential. They don't have any scratches. They're crazy. There's a few of them here. A measuring cup. What's it say? Just measure and mixing pitcher. Doesn't have a brand on it, but it's old. It's not in great shape, but you know, sometimes these sell for about 20, even in this condition. Just think about that. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. Keep watching, there's more. We were just rooting through this box down here. We found these pretty pieces of glass. Let me back up a little bit. Have no idea whatsoever who makes them and none of them match, but they're pretty. I'll have to check them over. A little jelly jar, I guess, or maybe sugar jar. Odds and ends, but, but pretty. <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't expect that to do that. Okay, they're pretty, <laughs> very pretty. We're up to $23 so far and we're still shopping and I just saw these beverage glasses of Hazelware. Some Christmas glasses with the original box. What's it say? $18 firm. Hope not. <laughs> Turkey pipe. I don't know. I like this kind of stuff. So maybe. From this Kingsport exchange place we just went by there today and i took a video of it so we're trying to see if there's another one to it this is some old glass and i believe this is an oyster pattern but i don't think it's worth a whole lot i thought i'd video it it's pretty and there's another pretty piece let me see if i can open it up. little cake plate but it has a lot of scratches so what I like about this sale is the dishes and the glassware. I think I'm gonna leave those behind. And Mark is over there looking for the other print to match this one, if there is one. What do you have here? I'm not sure. It's, a it's pretty blue. blue. Little footed dish. dish. There's no lid for it. You can tell by the way it's shaped, there's no lid. It is pressed. You see the seam? It's pressed. It's pretty blue. Yeah, it is. I think I see scratches in it. I'll have to check it out a little better and we'll see. This little bowl, little pottery piece, says Pigeon Forge Pottery Ferguson. So I have to do some research on that. I'd like to find a bigger one, but I might get this one. A lot of Christmas. Not much jewelry this year. A lot of floral, and sometimes you just have to look at the planter that the items are in. This looks like a handmade piece of pottery, which is actually quite cute. Get the flowers out of here. It's 
got the tag. One cracked pot. Jan Mather Potter. Might have to look her up and see if that has some value. So don't be afraid to take the flowers out and investigate the planter or vase. Okay, I checked this out and sadly Jan Mather Potter doesn't have any following on Google or eBay, so I have to leave it behind. It's starting to clear out now. There's still some treasures to look at. These are pretty. They're pressed glass with the Hobster. But yeah, it's been a real nice sale. Just give you an idea of what is left. I think that's a homemade cabbage patch. That's not a... I think it is. I can't yeah, find a brand on it. Yeah, it's homemade. We want the real thing if we buy one. But I've passed them up before. So let's just take another look. This is Trivet Pen, Pen Stewart, it's chipped attorneys, attorney. Yep, everybody wants that. Got some lamps, these apple things, just really not old. Planters, we did check all of those out. And the artwork, we check that out. As I said, lots and lots of Christmas. So there you go. We're about to wrap it up. I think we're at $31 so far. If you like these kind of videos, we appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon. Simple sales for good profits.